The Eagles kicked off 2024 with a splash, making significant moves in free agency on both offense and defense. Let's dissect these signings, starting with Saquon Barkley. Barkley, the former second overall pick for the New York Giants, has been a dynamic force at running back since his NFL debut. His blend of size, speed, and agility makes him a nightmare for opposing defenses. Take, for instance, this play against Washington last season. Despite facing multiple defenders, Barkley's elusiveness allows him to evade tackles and break free for a big game. In another play against the New York Jets, Barkley showcases his strength and determination. Despite facing multiple arm tackles, he powers through the defense, reaching the third level for an explosive run. But Barkley's game isn't just about brute force. He also possesses breakaway speed, as seen in this play against the Raiders. Despite a safety eyeing him, Barkley accelerates to the outside, turning what seemed like a routine run into a game-changing first down. What sets Barkley apart is his versatility. Not only can he excel as a runner, but he's also a threat in the passing game. Against Washington, Barkley lines up in the backfield and beats a linebacker on a wheel route for an easy touchdown. With Barkley on board, the Eagles' offense gains a dynamic playmaker capable of creating explosive plays both on the ground and through the air. His addition adds a new dimension to an already potent offensive arsenal, making the Eagles a formidable force to reckon with in the upcoming season. Defensive side of the ball, the Eagles made significant moves by signing multiple free agents, including Saquon Barkley. Barkley's impact is not limited to the run game. He's a threat in the passing game as well. His ability to run routes like a wide receiver and create explosive plays down the field adds a new dimension to the offense under the guidance of Kel Moore and the coaching staff. Turning to the defensive side, Let's take a closer look at Bryce Huff. Huff, known for his disruptive pass-rushing abilities, has consistently pressured quarterbacks with his explosive first step. His speed and finesse allow him to win the edge, as demonstrated against the Dolphins and Washington. Moreover, Huff possesses the versatility to transition from speed to power, evident in his ability to bull rush past blockers for sacks. While primarily a role player with the Jets, Huff has shown flashes of excellence against the run. Despite limited opportunities, he has displayed impressive run-stopping abilities, such as making tackles for loss against the Cowboys and Bills. Huff's skill set makes him a valuable asset against both the pass and the run for the Eagles. Another significant addition to the Eagles' defense is C.J. Gardner-Johnson, a familiar face who returns to Philadelphia after a stint in Detroit. Gardner-Johnson's impact on the field speaks for itself, providing Eagles fans with a sense of familiarity and reliability in the secondary. Lastly, let's discuss Zach Bond, who brings versatility and athleticism to the Eagles' defense. Bond's ability to rush the passer with finesse moves and dip the edge for sacks makes him a dynamic threat off the edge. Additionally, his versatility allows him to line up in various positions within the front seven, showcasing his adaptability and playmaking potential. With these key signings, the Eagles bolster both their offensive and defensive units, adding talent and depth to compete at a high level in the upcoming season. Let's delve into the Eagles' significant moves at the onset of the 2024 season, starting with the acquisition of Saquon Barkley. Barkley, a former standout for the New York Giants, brings a blend of explosive plays both in the run and pass game. Unlike some running backs who excel primarily in checkdowns and screens, Barkley has the ability to impact downfield, running routes like a wide receiver and executing vertical routes from the backfield. With his versatility, Eagles offensive coordinator Kellen Moore has an array of options to utilize Barkley's skill set to its fullest potential. Transitioning to the defensive side, the Eagles added Bryce Huff, known for his disruptive pass rushing abilities. Huff boasts the highest pressure rate among defenders with 100 plus snaps, showcasing his knack for getting off the ball with lightning speed. His repertoire includes finesse moves like the Superman cross chop, as well as a transition to power, making him a dual threat on the edge. Despite limited snaps against the run, Huff has shown flashes of excellence, demonstrating his ability to hold his ground and make tackles. Another notable addition is C.J. Gardner-Johnson, returning to Philadelphia after a stint in Detroit. Gardner-Johnson needs no introduction to Eagles fans, known for his impactful playmaking abilities on defense. His versatility and familiarity with the Eagles system make him a valuable asset on the field. Switching gears, the Eagles secured Zach Bond, a versatile linebacker with impressive athleticism and range. Bon excels as a pass rusher, run defender, and in coverage, making him a well-rounded contributor to the defense. His ability to read plays, shed blocks, and make tackles adds depth to the linebacker core. Finally, the Eagles bolstered their offensive line with the addition of Matt Hennessy, a former Temple standout. Hennessy's agility, strength, and versatility make him a valuable asset, 
capable of playing multiple positions along the line. His quickness off the ball, adeptness in pass protection, and strong hands ensure solid performance in both the running and passing game. As the offseason progresses, the Eagles remain vigilant in their quest to build a formidable roster. With free agency ongoing and the NFL draft on the horizon, the team's personnel department led by Howie Roseman continues to evaluate and acquire talent to strengthen the squad. Stay tuned for further updates as we break down each edition right here on the Eagles YouTube page. Primeiros confrontos das quartas de final. De final do Paulistão são definidas, veja aí, Santos, Portuguesa, Bragantino, Inter de Limeira estão classificados. Os dois primeiros confrontos da quarta de final do Campeonato Paulista foram definidos neste sábado. A vitória do Inter de Limeira sobre o Ituano eliminou chances de classificação de Corinthians e Mirassol no grupo C, além de ajudar a portuguesa no grupo A. Rapaz, a Lusa venceu o Mirassol por 1 a 0 no Canidé e agora <coughs> enfrenta o Santos, que terá a vantagem do mando por conta da liderança da chave. A Inter de Limeira ainda espera o resultado do Bragantino e Santos neste domingo em Bragança Paulista para saber se terá chance de brigar pela liderança do Grupo C na última rodada. A vantagem do Massa Bruta é de um ponto de diferença, né? É, rapaz, o bicho vai pegar fogo aí. É, Santo versus Português e Bragantino versus Inter de Limeira. Mais cinco, in, mais cinco times brigam por quatro vagas, as quatro, é, as quartas de final, a Ponte Preta e Água Santas disputam a segundo lugar do grupo B e a Macacá tem 16 pontos contra 14 no do Ituano, que avança e enfrenta a, o Palmeiras. No grupo D, são três times lutando por duas vagas. São Paulo com 18 pontos. Novo Horizontino com 18 pontos e São Bernardo com 15. É, tá bem embolada aí a competição, mas vamos ver o que vai dar aí. 